Happily welcome back to Vintage Story, episode 70 with B Sid. And uh, you encounter me in a hole in the ground cooking wolf meat. I have quite a lot of hides, I've got some fat, got some stuff I don't want. Um, and in terms of where I am, I am up here. So that's where the home is. Um, and I said I was going to head up this way and have a look over here. Didn't find much, but I headed up this way. Bumped into a couple of wolves. Actually bumped into three wolves. This one wolf I still haven't um, encountered yet, but you know, uh, well, they're out there somewhere. But um, I am, well, I'm in the ground here, in a hole in the ground. And the reason being is We found chalk, which of course can be ground into lime, which then can then be used to make all of the good stuffs that we want. Specifically, lime water, which is made for soaking hide. <sighs> You've got no idea how long this took. <laughs> Um, and that is conglomerate stone, so I don't really need that. I do need to keep my eye on this though, because I want to cook all of that meat up. Because it's getting, I don't want to put all my wood in there because it's getting cold out, <laughs> and uh, it's another reason to hide in the ground like I have done. But um, yeah, there's there there be chalk in these rills, and. Uh, I am going to grab, grab myself at least a stack, if not two, because it's a fair old hike from uh, from where I am. Um, it will probably involve me getting rid of, so I'll get rid of some of these things as I go. But right now, just keep me an eye on you. I'm going to stick a little bit more in there. Um, yeah, well, I'm going to wait till the morning and uh, hopefully, basically, my plan is to, from here, I am going to leg it <laughs> straight down here into the water. I'm going to come across here, leg it straight down here into the water. I'm going to swim across here and then I my plan is to leg it across kind of here-ish and then come down here and then leg it down there. <laughs> Uh, and basically try to avoid wolves because those two that I encountered were were not fun uh, by any stretch of the imagination and uh, I mean we've come out on top I'll probably lose the bones actually as well if I'm really desperate we'll see how we go for capacity but right now just cooking up my bush meat I'll be back in a bit all right I have got four and a bit stacks I have got a slight and further complication, and that is it's snowing outside. So we have got one option and one option only, and that is to run like hell for the water. I'm probably going to have a very very high chance of freezing to death ah, don't want that fingers crossed we managed to escape the wolf now all we need to do is get home and uh, I'm not seeing a wolf out here which is nice it's very pretty uh, in fact I might actually if I was, if I could stand on something, uh, well, well, I'm sure we'll get a chance to get a screenshot later when I'm freezing to death. Right now, however, um, well, we need to push this way and uh, hopefully not freeze to death. It is minus three when I checked on the temperature gauge, so uh, it's a touch on the chilly side. 
let me have a look at the map quickly. I'm here. I would like to get down to about there, I think. So I'm going to stay in the water. It gives me that level of protection against wolves. And then we're just going to have to, well, basically leg it, I think. The If I get killed, I get killed. If I get killed, the closer I get killed to home, the better. <laughs> um, it's very pretty, though. It's got to be said. Hmm. Let me just check the map again. I'm here. Yep. At least you don't drown. That's always a bonus, I suppose. But there, I am... Uh, considering the amount of effort it's taken me to get this limestone. Because this is, what, the third... Third episode, I think? Maybe even the fourth. I can't remember now. I'm... I'm that I've, I mean, I'm not complaining, it gives me the opportunity to go out and explore. But, I think we need to leg it a wee bit, basically. At least until we can get, well, to better visibility. Which has not been helped by the snow, or been all told, so pretty as it is right let me have a quick peek from here straight down that way i don't th nope don't say it famous last words again i'm happy if i'm close to the water because i get attacked i can jump in the water that's not a major issue like this ah, and then we can relax again and head over that way now I think if we head up around that that's probably the best bet we but let me eat that as well oops I did not want to do that How do I empty? That's a that's a later problem. Let's deal with the now problem, shall we? The, the fact that oh, it's sleet, it seems to be sleet more more than snow now, but I still don't like the level of brush we've got in the area because I can't see. see. Most of the times when I've got killed by a wolf, it's because I've practically jumped up and stood on one. And uh, for Jesus, chicken, pig. <sighs> See what I mean? I mean, you can literally you can walk up there. That, that if that had been a wolf, I would have been having to leg it. But lots of chickens. They can they can stay. They are all happy. Um. Yeah. Winter's here, we're going to have to concentrate on some clothing, uh, and for that, well, I definitely want leather and linen and all of the good things. Now, if I remember rightly, I think there is a wolf up in or around the, um, the house. Now, let me just have a look. Where am I? So, if I head this way, because I think he's off to the, well... I'm fairly certain the last time I saw it, it was off to the um, off to my right. So again, got some nice bit of water here. I can always leg it for that should I need to. Wow, the visibility is very poor. Not that it was great. Ooh. Hmm. 
and the evidence is coming up in favour of ow, that scared me off to death uh, we we may just live <laughs> oh man that was that was tenser than I, I really wanted it to be <laughs> now have I got let me let me uh, let me put that. So I've got a whole load of hide. Um, I was sifting. <laughs> the reason that's in my uh, inventory is I went out with that and I was sifting it. And. Uh, what else have we got? We've got any fat? Yeah, that will go in there. I have still got you. That will go in there. You will go in there. I really do need to work out how to empty that. Probably not into there. That's a certainty. Um, but I am reasonably happy because I am home and I am safe. And we've got a whole load of you. Um, yeah, so, oh, okay, I can do it like that, we can get it like that, okay, that, that kind of works. Right, so what do we need to do? We need to process this leather, and we can only process one type of leather at a time, so we might as well go with the mediums to start off with. Um, and looking at that, we need 20 lime. And so if I make a, well, if I want to make a, just a full barrel, I need 50 lime. Okay. That, that we can work with. That's five. That's why I went and grabbed, went a little bit ham on the, uh, one, two, three. On this now this stuff we process how you grind it with a hammer okay uh, I don't think I've got a hammer here have I know now I know as I say I know there are wolves in this area because I got chased by one up that way um, Damn near had an accident. <laughs> um, now you, how much will you process before you break? 38. But that's all right. Because I had the foresight to make another hammer. I am going to need to make a new pick as well. So that's 50 of those, and I do need, I think, uh, let me put you away. Um, hmm. I do need to get a bucket, I th uh, hello, get back up there proper. I think my bees are doing all right though which is all good. Uh, in fact, let me just go and check how these are. Population poor at the moment, that's fine. But that has, oh, that's actually got, that's harvestable now. Cool. Well, they're definitely working all right. Um, I didn't need to worry about moving them. As long as I leave one of those skeps in place, then uh, we shall be in a good place place now book it all right so I think in terms of clothing um, we do have some clothing it's in terrible condition so clothes provide now apparently I don't know how whether you can do foot stuff with things but if we take this off and 
left clicking a worn item in the character all right we don't even need to take it off okay that's interesting the, see the clothing we have is in terrible condition as are the gloves but apparently if we were to use four of those to make a we could do twine or linen so we can use that that now takes it up to fifth, um, worn 50% and it now gives me plus two heat resistance which we're getting better so the question is do I so if I take you to a hundred that's one two three four five so if I do another five of those two three four five four no <laughs> helps if you can count John and five but at least with winter coming then we can take you to a hundred percent we can take you to a hundred percent and I'm gonna just we can actually do that so basically I can take these so I need one two three four more which is a lot but because that more or less wipes out all of my flax supplies but on the flip side that's 50 that's now oops that's a hundred that's a hundred and they're actually probably not worth it they're only half a degree it's probably would have been better leaving those down but anyway we are at now warmer <laughs> body temperature so we should be able to keep warm with that now the other thing we can do let's have a look so we can use we can use this to make leather goods but obviously we'll be looking at leather leather leg armor we'll use leather oh, interesting I might want to save that for any leather armor that we want then if we can make leather armor with after this it is however night time I'm gonna sleep what I could have made is made a bed with that which would have given me an extra I think it's an extra hour or two on a better bed than this um, so I think once we get more flax that will be a thing but um, let's see what we see shall we munch up that lot again it doesn't keep long so I could have sworn I just heard something outside. Oh well. Um, let's wait until the light comes up, shall we? I'll oh, we'll see you in a bit. Well, it's the morning. I'm still waiting for those barrels. And I've started putting a wall around this side temporarily. But I've run out of rock. However, <laughs> I know there's something big, bad and furry out there. And it just wants to huff and puff and blow my house down. Um and I really don't want to give him the luxury of of that choice uh, what are you like oh uh, no B here we go growth stage not quite there still also not quite there almost again almost uh, that one's ready And again, I'm not going to worry too much. We'll, we'll worry about our nutrients in the, in the new year. Right, that stone there is looking very attractive to make more stone wall. Uh, oh, 
could have sworn I just heard something. Maybe I didn't. Okay. I don't know how long this is going to last, but I don't need a vast amount of this. A couple of stacks should be enough. And I've got plenty of copper, so I should be okay to make another pick. Should the need take us? What have I got there? 25. Yeah, I'll... Uh, I'll work out how much of this I need because I also need a gate to put in and snow is starting to settle which is good that's right so if I come here we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, less 2 less 2 to 14 okay that's not the end of the world that's not going to make me 14 of them of course but it will make me another 4 um, so what I'm thinking actually we can go one less even 13 I'm going to stick a gate in here once the once I can move these oh that one's done excellent I'm going to stick a gate in here and we'll have a gate in probably here and I think that will do so one two three four five six seven eight nine nine more yeah let me sort that I'll be back in a mo all right well I made a deliberate schoolboy error here um, I didn't know whether these would retain the liquid if they were sealed when you broke them. Ah, they don't. So that's a thing. So consequently, I moved the weak tannin and lost it all. Now this one is almost there. So once that's done, what we do need to do, I need to go and put this... Well, let me leave this bucket outside actually because it's not like I haven't got spare ones I've got just a couple in I made one too many um, so what I have got I've got myself my knife and that and that should make me 11 scraped hides now the use of those is soak the scraped hide in a barrel of wheat tannin solution so as soon as let me just get rid of that knife as soon as the uh, the weak tannin is ready, which it is, we can put that in, and we can, and it takes three days, which is three days where that gate is not going to be in place, but we'll live. Um, but definitely uh, getting wintry around here. <laughs> So that is a thing. Uh, we also going to also go to go and put that food away while we wait for that to cure. Um, I suppose in the meantime, I should start looking at some other bits and pieces of copper work as well, such as I need to do myself my. Um, that is probably oh no. That uh, can go in there. There you go. What are you? Oh, you're a wild daisy. Okay. Not so sure what's wild, so wild about it, but there you go. And what else we got? We got you. You can go in there with that, as well as that. You'll keep hold of you, and that can go away. Everything's good there. So in addition to sorting out myself a um, a proper hooferator, now we've got this. So 
I'm wondering whether you could just there what I have seen notes on how to sort this so apologies for, <laughs> for for not getting this right the first time I am still picking a lot of this lot up you are good you are good so hmm if I want to create a pick mold Uh, still got my axe, still got my javelins, shovel's okay, and, and then I want to make hmm, a, a hoofer. Uh, Twenty pieces to make, I think. So one, two, three, four, five. That would make a pick, and and then one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, just do forty, I think. Which is going to be fifteen in each, isn't it? Da da da, da da, and da. That should be waterproof because it's actually not under the chimney. However, I do need. Uh, might as well take some of this actually. rather than wasting the wood because I'm only going to use this to get it up to a certain temperature and this will take it to 900 rather than six hundred and then we should be able to take wow oh, that's not good oh crapola So the weather three is going to be enough, so we'll have to see. Let's get it up to 900 and see if three charcoal will take it the rest of the way. But um, also, let me just go and check that I've not got some more charcoal kicking around. Back in a moment. Unfortunately, the answer to that is a big fat no. So I need to get you up to 1,084 from 900 with three pieces of charcoal and then I need charcoal to do anything else so that's going to be entertaining right you're at 900 so we can swap you over to charcoal which isn't burning yet got to wait for that one to work down I am dubious as to whether I'm going to have the temperature and the duration of that temperature to melt but we'll find out won't we there we go nine it's getting up there I've still got two pieces of charcoal left so I might manage to pour a pick but I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, run the um, the forges until right it's melting so here's a big question is that going to be enough <laughs> I really strongly doubt it well I'll be back in a moment it's close I think we're going to do it because I've just remembered that it would continue going up even if that was cooling down until it got to a lower temperature than the hooferator so yeah we're going to get away with this but we're not going to be able to process the ingots I don't think however we can uh, 
Pour that. Pour that. Pour that. And that can go away. And now I've got reasonable protection. It's not perfect because, as I say, we've still got this thing sat here. And this has still got sealed for four hours out of three days. So I need to sleep and spend some time. So I'll be back in a bit. Well, you know what they say, red sky in the morning, shepherd's warning. Um, I sincerely hope that doesn't apply to me. <laughs> um, however, we're not going to get away with doing nothing. And I'm waiting, actually, on, on that. That's got eight more hours before that changes and allows me to go and make it into strong tanning. Um, which would have been done by now, but that's all right, because that's got like two days left to go. But what I do need, uh, and I'm fairly positive that there are wolves in the area. So I need to be very careful. <laughs> um, what I do need to do is chop down some trees. Um... I also need to plant them as and when I ever get them as well, because, you know. We can't go around deforesting the entire area. But that was like a whole four logs, which is... I mean, I'm using flint axe as well, just for, just for good measure. But that should give me... 18 and I think you need 20 per stack is it? I can never remember more than 20 um, gotta keep that don't forget myself and inadvertently chop that down I also need to make sure that I'm not inadvertently chopping down a tree with any bees in it because I've done that before and uh, it hurts. If it even I don't even know whether there's a log here. Oh, I don't know what I got there. What did I get there? Ooh, wild vine. I wonder what I, well, I wonder what I can do with that. Probably not a lot. Yeah, I think this is just stickage. And what I was hoping to do with that, um, with those ingots, was make some shears so we could. Oh, what we got? I've got a maple seed. Okay. Well, we'll plant, we'll replant. And then hopefully we'll get some trees back at some point. Let me stick that there. And that there. Right, I need to get bigger in my scope of trees that I want to chop down, I think. So, oops, hello. And I also realise I'm running somewhat short, ah, somewhat short on time. But there's, um, it's definitely getting cold out here. What is the temperature right now? Minus seven, my body temperature is 37.7. So still, you know, where it should be. I just check for resin. No, no resin. So let's have this down. And uh, I've got spare flint axe heads made as well. So uh, it's definitely getting cold. I'm just looking at the mini map widening up about us as we speak. I have to say, the other thing I don't realize, I don't know in terms of in game time is how long winter lasts. Oh. 
that's fine. We got. Wow, that's pretty. Uh, that was pretty impressive, actually. Right, I would like not to use my copper axe if I can avoid it. We did get a pine seed, which is nice. Means I can replant. And uh, I'm not going to hover around out in the wilderness here because that seems to me to be a recipe for disaster hovering around crafting things while we know there are wolves in the area. I'm going to do another screenshot because this is starting to look almost Christmas card perfect. Now I've got no idea what it's going to do to my crops. I know it is going to freeze the water which is going to be interesting. These are all empty lake ice I've got no idea whether this is going to adversely affect these or not I mean I can see your stage 8 of 9 these are ready to harvest so I probably should go and harvest those and then just keep the seeds maybe and take take what I can but I don't know whether we have popping off like we do in uh, You know, that was actually not good, that wasn't ready, but there we go, it doesn't matter. We should have plenty of food and seeds for the, uh, for the, up oh, hello, not if I throw them away, I won't. And those are ready. So again, we'll take those. Not quite. Still not quite. Yeah, I think we we leave these to grow. And those to grow. If they grow. We'll leave these as they are. I'm gonna get like proper vineyard. I've got one to set if I can get this set up nicely, it'd be really nice to have these bushes set almost like a vineyard. That would be um I think interesting. You have got 20 hours left to go. You have got 19 hours of three days. So you've got some time to try um work. However, doesn't stop us. Life goes on and we must store our ill-gotten, well, not ill-gotten, I suppose. They are justified, you know, just gotten gains, actually. Um... Hopefully that'll be enough food to see us through the winter, but I've honestly got no idea. Um, you know, it's not not being a a significant concern of mine. However, what is a significant concern of mine is getting charcoal, because without charcoal, I can't do very much at all. And I think you need thirty-two blocks per I mean presumably you can do it with less like you can in terra firma crap but we don't have a huge amount of firewood we do have plenty of treasers fortunately that way we also have plenty of wolfsers but we're just going to do a 9 by 9 sorry a 3 by 3 not a 9 by 9 idiot. Which we've got. Well, three of the blocks so far. But that's fine. I'm going to continue on with this. And I shall be back in a little while. Alright. Um got most of it we're just bringing in a little bit from our firewood reserve over there this this is what minecraft needs <laughs> look at the way this snow is piling up on the on the steps on the walls 
you know none of this mucking around it just does its things warmed up a bit so maybe or maybe it has has it warmed up i have no idea it it doesn't look like it's warmed up however oh i'm gonna need um i'm gonna need four more aren't i that's the point because we're going to need to place oops that on it now i need to remember how i think you create a fire pit in the middle but i could be wrong so i need to just double check that and i am very tempted let me just use up this last axe head that i created to go and grab that last tree over over there keep hearing the wolf howling away in the distance all right this is an oak so yeah should be all right Actually, let's do it with that one we'll have that down and uh i'll use like one log just to get enough to make the fire pit but i need to double check that before i go ahead and ruin all that wood so i'll be back in a second all right that's the fire pit going it's not a big fire pit um but it should be enough to get me to the point where i need to be which is going to be to be able to do something with these um that's simple enough we'll pick that out later we don't need it right now and just curious you can okay that's interesting now you uh have got one day out of three you are weak tanning and you need to be strong tanning in 24 hours but i think on that note we are going to call this episode and we're going to come back to this next episode when we hopefully will have some charcoal food uh, <laughs> um we'll put those oak logs away for now they're probably too valuable as tannin now eventually i want to be able to replace those with that that once that's done we'll see what happens i've got no idea what happens with all that tannin how much we'll have left yada yada these are all lessons to learn because this is winter and i am not familiar with winter but this is harvestable that is harvestable that is harvestable they're all pretty much harvestable and he's you know not doing a great deal to be honest and then i think i need to think about how i want to expand this this structure uh one of the thoughts i've got is to come off of here continue this along this way it will remove mean removing that and filling that in removing all of this and making like a horseshoe shape and then we'll put the farms off of it um because it is a common farm or well, building structure that horseshoe shape gives you three sides sh shields you from the wind yard yard gives you a nice little courtyard in the middle so i may take this off of here but i may continue on with this design maybe even i don't know i mean we could come off of this side and come into a horseshoe shape that way that could work as well but um whatever we need to get more of the ability to do this now the the problem i have with this particular stone is we don't uh, well i found granite but it's a fair old hike away and it's actually a lot easier to go and find the ruins and steal the bits from them than it is to do that but we can also go with the wooden because obviously that's part wooden things yeah there's a lot of a lot of big questions to ask but we made a lot of progress today so i'm happy and uh, until next time thanks for watching as ever keep the comments coming because this game is still a mystery to me in a lot of respects but um right now we're better off than we were previously so that's a bonus 
And uh, yeah, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.